Hello guys, today I'm installing an air horn on my bike. A trumpet. Uh, it is the smart. I bought it on Amazon's own tech. Um, in the box or on the box, it says it's easy to install. Um, where I see it, easy to install the horn. Um, they mean on the flat surface, on the hood or on the top of a truck because it's everything but easy to install. Um, there's practically no hardware. Uh, there's a compressor coming with it. There's three bolts for the mounts of the trumpet itself. And there's another bolt that come with the compressor but there's no mount there's nothing but the hardware or the bolt uh, to install this thing so i have made a support for the compressor it's man-made or handmade uh, and this is the back support for the horn uh, so it's not easy to install at all at least not on a bike of course it doesn't belong in a bike but even on a truck you need something to attach the compressor to so uh, it's not easy to install a compressor you still need to make some kind of rack because just bolting this thing on one bolt with a u-shape so first you need to put it this way so uh, it doesn't get off by gravity because this way it will always fail off, fell off. Uh, and you still need to have access to the connector for the 12 volt and for the inlet for the hose or the outlet should I say uh, and for the trumpet itself it's three bolts pretty easy to mount this is a floating mount on it so uh, it's the best to put it as far as you can so it's tight on the horn because obviously it's tapered uh, and I will install that on the side of my bike since I don't get carry any passenger on my bike I will attach it to the rear peg or the support for the peg and here I will attach the front mount to this bolt here so yes I will have a trumpet on the side of my bike uh, and as you can see I already made the support for the compressor and the support for the uh, rear part of the trumpet and now I'm working on the support for the front hand of the trumpet which is not an easy task okay guys all the support are done I changed my mind on the support on the front simply because it was becoming really ugly uh, I decided that well I'm, I make it this way the reason why it's not painted is because since it's around chrome it will attach being attached here and on the trumpet itself uh, I might nickel plating or even chrome it. Uh, I will see about that, but now I will install it temporarily so I can test everything. So as I mentioned, there's only one bolt holding the compressor or this little pump here. Uh, so what I did, uh, I made a hole in my support here so it will bolt here, but it will also sit on top here and I might install a rubber band a black rubber band so it all tight on the rack here so when I will start it because I try it with holding it in my hand and it's a really powerful electric motor in there so it was quite hard to hold it in my hand so this is one of the reason why I decide to install it that way uh, so in this u-shape here it will sit well I will probably make a rubber gasket here so it doesn't scratch or it's not metal on metal and I will also attach it on the rack so it won't move so attach here with a strap or a band and in the back with a bolt it won't go anywhere but for now I will install it temporarily so I can test everything so there you go it's temporary reinstall and the thing about that is I need to install the compressor or the pump on the rack before putting it uh, in the bike because since it's bolting this way after it's installed on the bike there's no way that I can reach that nut also since this is a really uh, contained area or space I will insert or connect the hose 
for the trumpet before installing it because after that I don't have access underneath either okay guys the pumps installed the trumpet is installed um, from here you can't see nothing or barely anything you can see a bit of pump there it was very tight to get this thing installed there I have to remove the cover on the other side uh, I will show you what it looked like from the other side uh, it's a big trumpet but uh, it won't be in my way because my seats finish about here and uh, my leg go on the foot peg or on the floorboard right there so I will just clear the top of it um, the wiring is because I will test it with temporary wire because I did not wire it yet I need to install a relay and actually there's a relay that came with it so at least the electrical parts is actually complete but there's no instruction at all whatsoever uh, for those who want this kit I will put the link in the description but uh, it's way too early to to know or to tell you if it's a good kit or not but it's really not a plug and play thing so now uh, I will test it make sure everything is working already connect the positive on the positive side of my battery now uh, the ground side or the negative side is on the ground I will put that on the pole and I will let you hear what it sounds like okay so I reinstalled the original arm temporary so I will let you hear the, the horn that came with the bike and after that I will let you hear the air horn uh, and I will let you make your own opinion on what sounds better what is louder this air horn is supposed to deploy 150 decibel I'm not sure it will do that with this setup um, I tested it with my air compressor with 120 pounds and it was crazy loud but this pump uh, doesn't push 120 pounds or PSI that's for sure so uh, I will test that right now so I will start with the horn original horn it's pretty loud but we're in the garage so and uh, now we'll go with the hair horn okay guys my air horn is finally installed and it's working so uh, as I'm show you earlier uh, I made a support for the pump the hair pump the compressor I put a rubber a strap of rubber, a rubber that I had under the half moon between the hair pump and the support so uh, with the vibration nothing is scratching nothing is getting loose it's tight on rubber for now it's just holding with a zip tie uh, it's good enough for now but I will replace it with a metal strap um, I will try to find one black so it doesn't show too much um, you can see the hose under the compressor because uh, the howlet of the comp the hair pump or the compressor is completely underneath so you can see the hose it's going in there going in my chrome cap uh, underneath here and it's going to the trumpet trumpet here strong I bolt that on my rear peg support and here as I mentioned I made this little support here and it's fully connected uh, unfortunately the relay switch that came with it was faulty so instead of returning all the kit having the headache of arguing with people at the other hand of the internet <laughs> uh, I just bought another relay switch connected and it was working and of course everything is connected on a fuse so if there was a short somewhere it will not burn wire or uh, smoke my battery it will just burn the fuse so I will 
show you a demonstration but before that I have to mention that I made a little mistake I wanted to put that on the ignition so when my ignition is off the horn's not working and I forgot to do so so even with the bike off the horn is working uh, it's not a problem until you have a child that like that button a little too much and start honking when your bike is parked in the driveway but apart from that I don't have kids so it's not a problem for me but if you do a wiring for a uh, horn make sure to put that on the ignition so no one can honk your horn when the key is not on a bike um, so I made you here previously the old horn or the original horn uh, I managed to also connect it to the original button of the horn so I will push on it right now yeah it's pretty loud <laughs> way louder than the original horn of the bike so i guess there's no much more to say about it but you if you have any question don't hesitate and post them in the comment section below and i will answer to all of them as soon as possible so this is it for now please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified as soon as i will release another video so on this i wish everybody a great day and see you later bye